Hi, this is Nick George with Clouds Diamond Sharpening, just with a AG Super 2 Speed rebuild. Um, they're stop selling these. Um, if you can get them, though, they're 125. I sell them on my website for 75 to 80, depending on what parts are replaced. Um, here we go. Let's just break the. Well, first I guess we should plug it in to see what we got going. Okay, that doesn't sound very good. It either has a bad bearing here or a bad bearing in the armature, so you can't replace those armatures besides the cam bearing. So I'll probably have to replace the armature. Check to see if your hinge is good. I can lift it up, so that is no good. If you can lift up any hinge, it's never good. Throw that hinge away, because it's no good. Don't lose your little spring in there. Okay, so now that we got this apart, let's test it and see if we can see where the sound's coming from. So I don't put that part back on, because that would be dumb. Use your uh, diamond stick to make the armature all pretty. Sometimes I can get rid of some of the sand and it's not gone. So this is a good armature. I can tell because it's running full speed. And there's no chopping. So let's take this part and see what bearing is messed up. Hopefully it's the cam bearing because we can replace that. Alright, take your switch off, make sure it's unplugged so you don't kill nobody or yourself. And do not try this at home if you know nothing about electricity or DC power or AC power. Just, just go on and send it in to me so you don't hurt yourself. Alright, now let's uh, take the clip, motor clips off, take them up front motor frame. Um, see, I know a little trick, instead of taking out the brushes, you can just keep them in there. And then you check all your bearings. Well, that bearing is bad, the dry bearing. So, maybe we'll just get lucky and it's the dry bearing. That's easy enough. Go on that side where you don't hurt the bearing. Even though this one's broken, but you don't want to put your new one on if it's, uh, messed up. Oh, I pulled a cam off this morning from this other use clipper I built. Oh, actually use armature I found and I robbed it. It's good. I'll let you guys listen to it. I might as well just throw it in there and see if it works. It only takes a second. Put the motor mount on, put the rear one on.
make sure you put your brush in right. Uh, if you don't know how, there I got other videos that show you how. You put them in wrong, they will get stuck and they will not work. Put your spring in there, put your brush cap back on. Okay, you can see the pressure down in there making contact. That's uh, your first sign you put them in right if they're not there. Well, might as well take it back apart because you didn't put them in right. Alright, put this switch on. There's little uh, nipples on these. Use them. They'll help the switch stay in. A lot of people take these out. I recommend taking them out if you've never done this because you will ruin a switch if you um, break these tabs. Mm, a little loose. Uh, what I do is bend them a little bit make the nipple um, higher. You know it's a little bit sticking out a little more. Make sure it don't move around when you're gonna have to take these out and just do it the, the right way. Um, this is the right way if you know how to do it this way. A lot of people don't mess these little tabs up. I don't think I have a one. Really so I still do it. Alright, now let's get all the screws out of the way and see if this thing turns on. So we'll put it in high speed. That's basically your running clipper. Oops, sorry. Got a little, little aggressive. All right, so that's a good motor. That's our first uh, good sign of today on the, on the clippers. See, if they're loose, you gotta bend them a little better to get them to stick in there. I didn't bend this one yet. Put your bell back on. I don't really worry about these because no one uses them anymore. But I might as well put it on since it's sitting there. Put a little switch guard on. Don't worry if these are missing, your clipper will still run. All it does is keep hair and stuff out of there, but I blow it out anyway, every time. So, if your clipper has a hard time going to second speed, usually it's because there's hair in there. Just so you know, little tip. 
Okay, so now put the top case back on. We'll save these. Small screws at the bottom, large screws at the top. There we go. Don't over tighten these. I see many people over tighten them and they bust through the case. <clears throat> and then it just makes more noise. <clears throat> A little breaks in here. Put your spring back in the motor mount right here in the little insert. Um, if you notice the new AG2 have a space there, you can put a hinge on a latch or just a regular old hinge. Um, thought I was prepared. I guess not. Be right back. Alright, I found a good AG hinge. Um, so basically what I'm talking about in this space, this space right here, you put a keeper. It's called a keeper. It's a metal plate. And then you can put an AGC hinge and latch on here. You have a latch. But I have a, <clears throat> I still have an old AG good hinge. If you notice, you can't pick it up. So, that's good. <clears throat> And then put your spring in if you're going to use the AG hinge. And you don't need a keeper on it if you don't use an AG hinge. When over tight memory, you'll strip the motor mount and then you'll leave. Having to get it service just for the motor. Okay, let's hope uh, this thing sounds good. I'm good. Low speed. You can touch it. High speed. Touch it, it doesn't turn off. But you gotta watch out for sometimes. So there's your NAG Super Q speed. on my site for 70 bucks. Thank you. Uh, please subscribe if you like my videos. Thanks.